Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. And variable is uh, so if you observe here, store is a command, store is a command, and and no, this is my search data. I want to enter automation testing here. So I'm mentioning this hello value here, and I'm saving this value in this variable. This is a variable name. Okay. So this automation testing is going to be saved here in search bar. Now observe here. Now I'm going to uh, say send keys. And I'm taking the locator of this particular object. Whose ID is this? So I'm taking this. Oh, I think that's in recording mode. That's the reason it is recorded. Okay, let me delete. Okay, see here. Observe here. Previously, you know, we we were you know, let me do one thing. Previously, we used send keys and you know, uh, locator send keys locator, and here we used to mention automation testing here, like this. Okay, let me execute only this command. How to execute only this command? I want to execute only this command. How should I execute? What should I do now if I want to execute only this command? Uh -huh. Yeah, that is correct, Akila. Yes, if you right click here, uh, there will be something called uh, execute this command. Okay, or the other option is, as Akila said, it, we can double click on this. So I'm double clicking on this. If I double click this, it is it is under automation testing here. Okay, let me go back here. Oh, no. Yeah. However, Abdur here. Now I'm removing this automation testing here. Okay. Now, if you Abdur here, I want to use this variable, this search for variable, in, in this in this line. So in that case. Observe here the syntax for the uh, you know use the variable that we have defined here. Syntax is dollar throughout basis and uh, variable name. Okay, so we have variable name and floor basis. Okay, now let me execute this test case. See here. Okay. So the same thing is happening. So here, uh, basically, we can save some value here using the store command. Okay. In similar way, if you observe here, there will be n number of again store commands. Okay. It is this store is normal store, and of this we a store a store alert means it will store the it will uh, no it stores the alert information. Okay. Alert present means whether it is presented or store alert means. It will basically uh, you know, uh, stores the alert uh, title information. Okay, this stores the alert uh, 
whether it is uh, you know whether it is presented or not it will store either true or false it will store all the buttons information of uh, you know all buttons information all fields information so like this you have so many store commands okay generally again here we generally we may use uh, this uh, what we say generally we we may use store here that's it but however in reality uh, no selenium ide will not be used okay yeah these are uh, four sets of commands okay verify assertion wait for store so basically which covers almost you uh, know almost uh, almost all the commands okay but however uh, we took some special commands here to discuss so now let us discuss special commands now okay so now we were discussing about these four types okay and synchronization commands are nothing but this wait for commands okay here i was just saying wait for elements okay which is nothing but synchronization commands are nothing but wait for commands okay uh, now let us discuss about these special commands okay now let us discuss about these special commands after that we will discuss about uh, what we cannot record here okay after that we will discuss about the uh, you know the sections that we left in our previous class okay Uh, I was mentioning this. Uh, now, if you save a variable like this, okay, to access this variable, syntax is we have to mention dollar flower basis variable name and the again flower basis. Okay, this is the syntax for accessing a variable, which is stored here. Okay, here it is stored. Is it clear, Bala? Now let us uh, discuss about this uh, options. See here, which looks simple, but uh, we don't know. See here. Uh, now we are going to discuss about go back. Actually, you know, we came from the uh, previous page, right? We are coming from this page to this page. Okay. If you want to click any, uh, uh, if you want to go uh, in your real in your real script, if you want, if you have a scenario to go it back. Okay. See here, you can mention uh, command as go back here. Okay. Up there here, I'm just double clicking on this command. No, now we are in currently in some search page. Up there here, I'm double clicking on this. Okay. So when I say go back, it is went to this page. Okay. Now let me go back here. This is one of the special command. Maybe we'll use sometime. Okay. Similarly, we have something called refresh. Abdur here. Yeah. Now the browser is in normal mode. If I double click, it is going to refresh. Can you see here? It was just refreshing. Okay. And in similar way, key simulation. Yeah, before key simulation, let us discuss about highlight this particular command. Up there here we have a command called highlight and if you observe the, in the reference highlight locator we have to mention the locator basically highlight means what it is going to highlight say I want to highlight this particular text box okay so I'm taking the ID of this And see here id equal to this one. Generally we know this find button. If you click on find button, it will it will highlight this. But from the script itself, while executing the script itself, we can make it highlight. See here, I'm double clicking on this line. Okay. It means while executing the script itself, we can make it highlight. Okay. Then uh, key simulation. Let us discuss about this key simulation. Uh, for this, uh, 
let us take this up uh, this application deal for now yeah. I know there will be some set of commands on keys okay here uh, see here key okay when I mentioned key so these are key these are the some set of commands on keys okay when pressing uh, no, downward down key down arrow key in, uh, down arrow key in our uh, uh, what we say key down means um, pressing a uh, pressing a button in our uh, no, pressing a button in a uh, pressing a key in our keyboard okay so if you observe here I'm using key press target here if you observe here key press uh, this what we call uh, this uh, this syntax key press locator so locator means you now say I want to you know, press, I want to click on this personal loan okay when I click on personal loan it will go to this page okay let me go back to here let me get the locator of this personal loan see here yeah how to enter ID means uh, no, uh, well you can look into this but you can look into this I'm clicking on this okay you know, I know this. If when you when you see a tag as A, you know, if you remember in our first class, I was mentioning this. When you find HTML tag as A, which is nothing but a link. Okay, how a link can be identified using link text. Okay, so A is a link here. See, here I'm copying this. So observe here, key press locator. So I'm myself. I'm writing this link equal to. So in previous case, I myself have write ID equal to because I have copied ID. Okay. So here, as I copied this, we know that this is a link, link text. So I mentioned link. Now just for confirmation, if you want, you can click on find. This, this personal loan is getting highlighted. Okay. It means this locator is working fine. So I want to click on this. Generally, I can directly write a click here. Okay. Generally, I can write click here but just I wanted to explain this key press okay I mentioned this key press locator and key sequence actually you uh, know if you want to press on H say if you want to press on H H in your keyboard you have some uh, you know you need to mention your ASCII value okay here you need to mention your ASCII value if you observe here ASCII value of that key okay so ASCII value for enter key is 13 so I mean to say whenever we come here I want to press on enter button here okay now observe here I am double clicking on this particular uh, line observe here I am double clicking on this line can you observe here it is just it is clicked on this particular uh, link okay the other way of executing the same thing actually I can simply mention click like this click and uh, link equal to this one this personal loan like this I can mention but I know the other way that I have uh, mentioned is key press okay just, just to show okay and apart from this what we have here mouse over yeah, observe here I am going to use this uh, same thing Okay then, let me write it here itself. Okay, see here, Mozor means uh, you know, So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also if you are interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. 
The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.